Wi-Fi can be really problematic in some cases. And this is what we'll try to solve today using the Asus Zen Wi-Fi X-T9. But first, let's unbox it. We have the package with the two devices, which can cover up to 5,700 square feet or 530 square meters. Nothing special in this side of the packaging, apart from some information about AI protection. As you can see, it supports Wi-Fi 6 technology and has the 160MHz channel. It has some feature for online security, we'll check more later. So, let's unbox it. Inside the package, we can see this first paper with some instructions. The first device, which can be used as a router. At the back we have the known ports, the power supply, the switch, the three LAN, the one and the USB port. Same for the second device, which will be used as a node. These devices are identical. One will be used as a router and the other one as a node. But please have in mind that can be used also independently. Inside the box we have also the power adapters, one for each device, and of course some additional paper, instructions for the setup, user guide, and that's it. We will also connect the one device that we'll use as a router to the network. Please have in mind that this one port is 2.5 gigabit. Time to power on the device. After some seconds, our devices are ready. Now it's time to start the setup and initialization procedure. First, we need to open the ASUS router app, connect to the Wi-Fi network that these devices are generating. In our case, is this ASUS 50XT9. Let's connect to this Wi-Fi network and navigate back to the app. Now, let's press the plus button in the upper right corner and select Set up a new network. Select ASUS Zen Wi-Fi series. Select XT9. And this will start searching for the ASUS router. After some seconds, the router is identified, and now it's detecting for internet connection status. After some seconds, we are prompt to select the one type. We can either select THCP, EPOE, or static IP. Now we are prompt to create a Wi-Fi network. And then we are prompt to create the admin user for the ASUS router by simply providing the username and the password. Last steps to set up the network and we are almost ready. ASUS Zen Wi-Fi X-T9 has three-band mesh Wi-Fi system with unique antenna placement delivering strong Wi-Fi to every corner of your home providing total wireless speed of 7,800 Mbps. It has ultra-fast Wi-Fi 6 technology. With OFDMA and multi-user MIMO, Zen Wi-Fi X-T9 enables more efficient, stable and faster transmission even when multiple devices transmitting data at the same time. 
Also, don't forget that AI Mesh supports mix and match Zen Wi-Fi with AI Mesh compatible router to form powerful and flexible whole network Wi-Fi system. Once everything is properly configured, accept on this ASUS notice, and we are ready in the app. At this step, we need to enable the remote access. And that's it. Our system is properly configured. Remote connection is enabled. And now we have the control, either connect to this Wi-Fi network or remotely. Everything seems configured correctly. And from the device, you can see the router and the node, as well two clients that are already connected. Now, let's add another device to our network. Let's connect an iPhone to the USB port because this ASUS device has a very useful feature. We will use this iPhone device as a backup one connection since ASUS XT9 supports USB tethering. As you can see, this has been already identified and configured and we have a relevant message in the screen of the iPhone. It says Auto USB Backup 1. Let's go to Settings. Navigate to the IP address of the router and this is the known interface. As you can see from this screen, the primary one and the secondary one appear as well. We have the security level, which is WPA2, the clients and the nodes, as well what is connected in the USB. As you can see, the iPhone has been identified. We will not go through all of these settings, since there are plenty of them, but we will focus in the most important. Here, for example, in the AI mesh, you can get some information about the nodes. One very useful feature is the AI protection, which supports three levels. The lifetime free network security powered by Trend Micro makes sure your privacy on connected devices is protected. You have always up-to-date protection. First, we need to enable this. The first level can scan for some security issues, mostly on the router side. For example, here you can see some router security assessments like the wireless passwords and many others. Second level of AI protection includes malicious sites blocking. This can be enabled independent of level 1. Also, some additional features like two way IPS and infected device prevention and blocking. Let's enable also the infected devices, which is level 3. For all of them, we have some tabs with some reports. For example, here is the tab for the malicious sites blocking, the two-way IPS, and the infected devices. Let's enable also the two-way IPS. And now we have the highest security. One very useful feature is the parental control which, as you can see, we can enable. And then we can assign different profiles per device. First, we need to select the device, select the profile, and press the Add button. That's it. For another device, we can select a different profile. This provides great flexibility and, of course, great parental control. Now, under the USB application, we have already used one of them. It's the USB tethering. Let's go to one. If we go to dual one, as you can see, we have enabled this feature and the mode is failover. We can configure this in load balancing and we can configure specific percentage. In this case, it's 3 to 1. We have also port triggering, 
port forwarding, DMZ, a DING DNS, which is also very useful. In this case, ASUS provides their own DING DNS. And of course, support for all the known brands. We'll leave it as it is. Our host name will be poseidon.asuscom.com and we have also created our SSL certificate using Let's Encrypt. Now, under the wireless. And of course, the most important. Asus Zen Wi-Fi XT9 supports an expanded Uniform Spectrum as a default mesh backhaul which feature a third and clear 160MHz channel on the 5GHz band, increasing mesh backhaul capacity to deliver reliable and high performance for your wireless devices. Next, let's give a look on the VPN options. As you can see, it supports PPPT, OpenVPN, IPsec VPN and WireGuard. Let's configure IPsec VPN first. We will use the dynamic DNS that we have already created. Let's add a preserved key. Okay, for now we can ignore this warning. And let's add the user. Provide username and of course the password. Our VPN server settings are configured. Let's ignore this warning since this is just a testing configuration. Apply the settings. And finally, enable VPN server. Now we are ready. Let's check the VPN server through a VPN connection in our mobile phone. Go to VPN, add VPN configuration, select IPsec, provide a description. Add the dynamic DNS. The username of the account we have just created, the password of course. And the secret key. Press done. Select the VPN connection. Ok, and as you can see we have connected. Let's test it. Let's use the IP address of the ASUS router. 192.168.50.1 That's it. We have access, although we are through 5G connection. As you can see, it works perfect. Now it's time to check a different VPN connection. Let's go to Instant Guard. Enable it. And let's go back to the mobile application. This time we need to open the ASUS router app. Select Instant Guard. We are prompt to install the application. If you haven't done this already, let's download this. And let's go back again to the ASUS router app. Ok, now as you can see, when we go to Instant Guard, we have the option to connect. And after some seconds, it's ready. We are connected to the XT9 via VPN connection. That's it. We are connected and of course protected. Let's proceed again to the same test. As you can see, although we are under 5G connection, we have access to the ASUS router. 
and everything works fine. Now it's time to perform some speed test performance measurements. For this reason, we'll use iPerf3. Okay, first we have downloaded. We have one server connected through Ethernet, which will act as the server. And we have a different machine that will act as the client. Let's perform some tests. Okay, and it seems that the results are really good. Are more than 850 megabps. We have some consistency on the measurement as you can see. And this actual measures the backhole connection. Really robust connection with some great performance. And now our thoughts on Asus Zen Wi-Fi XT9. We think that it's a great device. It provides great coverage everywhere. Also, it keeps you always secure. It is highly recommended. We really enjoy using it and testing it. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please press like and consider subscribing to our channel. See you in the next video.